this is my computer. You can see there uh, the virtual machine. Now, I've created this virtual machine called Windows 7. So what I'm going to do, for example, you were asked to set up a computer with two network adapter. Uh, probably the company decided to have two internet connection to the computer system because of uh, fault tolerance. Let's say you have a 3G internet from telecom and another 3G internet from, uh, from Leo. Or let's say you have internet from, um, from uh, African online, from a modem, which connects through your ROG45. Then you have another internet from another service provider going to the second network adapter, whereby if one of the internet connection is down, you will still be able to have what? Access to your internet. Is that not correct? Remember, we talked about the mesh topology. Is that not correct? Whereby the computers are connected twice. So let's say, for example, in such scenario, the company actually wants to have this computer connected twice to the switch, whereby two network adapters go to the same DACP, but having two different IP address, but using the same gateway. So let's say this is some kind of a scenario you were asked to set up. So in this case, let's say this is your computer. Remember, we're using a virtual environment. So I'll go to settings, and I'll come to network. Now, in this case, let's say, for example, we're going to be using um, the wireless network of our, of our host computer. I'll come in here and select bridge adapter. So I'm going to select bridge adapter now. Now, if you notice, when you select a bridge adapter, the virtual machine is going to ask you, which adapter do you want to bridge with? Now, if I say wireless, it means that the router that resides in my wireless will be the uh, adapter I'll be bridging with. If, for example, I have a LAN connection, and I'm going to be using Ethernet, then it will be bridging with what? My Ethernet. So in this case, I'm going to be taking my wireless, since I'll be using my wireless connection. So in, uh, earlier on, we did mention that we're going to be using two network adapters. Is that not correct? So I'll come in here and I'll say adapter 2, enable. I'll come here and say bridge adapter. Then, of course, I'll select my wireless. Remember, if I'm on the LAN, if I'm using the cable, I will come and select what? Ethernet. Okay. When that is done, we'll go to the storage. Now, by default, that is your storage device. Uh, this is what I actually mentioned earlier on with my students. I was teaching them uh, MCS when we were installing the server. You guys all know what solid state drives is, right? Is that, is that not correct? We all know what solid state drive is. SSDs, right? Okay, it's more faster. Is that not correct? Yeah. So what we're going to be doing, um, VirtualBox, good enough, they actually emulate uh, solid state. So I'm going to check solid state on my storage device. Remember, this is a blank computer system without an operating system yet only just a hard drive. So I'm going to check solid state drive here. The next thing I'm going to do is to add my, my Windows operating system. So I'm going to come here and click on add DVD. Take notes. This is where I clicked. In this side, this is to add a hard disk. This is to add a DVD or what? A CD device, which is an ISO image. So I'll click on uh, choose disk. And uh, it's on my document, if I'm not mistaken. So I just need to look for Windows 7. That's Windows 7 Ultimate. Okay, I think it's x86. So I'll click on Open. Okay, that's my image there. Okay, so mine is x64. I believe yours will be x66, x86 or 64 bit, depending on your operating system. But if you're having problem with your 64-bit, just run on, run 32-bit. Okay, I'm going to go to my system. I'm going to uncheck this. I'm going to push this up. You can see where I'm clicking here. I'll push the hard drive, and that is it. So I'll click on OK now. And everything has been set up the way we want it to be. Now, this is following company's procedures based on the requirements. So I'm going to click on Start. My computer is going to boot up now. That's my Windows booting up now. And I'm going to maximize my screen. In the meantime, I'll come and uh, emulate the device to allow
clipboard bidirectional drop and drag bidirectional okay so my windows is booting up uh, I'm going to click on next now but for in the case of those who have already those of you who already have Windows 7 you don't need to go through the process I'm going all you need to go do is to go to all you need to do is to go to the um, virtual machine uh, go to settings make sure it is shut down or if it's not shut down it's fine go to network then click on adapter 2 make sure your computer is shut down click on adapter 2 enable it select the bridge adapter put your wireless that's all you need if you already have Windows 7 installed okay you don't need to go through the process I'm going now so I'll click on install now, did you notice how quick the computer is booting up? Re remember, we selected the solid state drive. Is that not correct? Yeah, so let's say there's, a, there's some kind of a performance as well added to the drive as a solid state. So I'll click on accept, next, customize. I'll take the default. Okay. Now, after the installation is done, <clears throat> the next task we're going to be doing. <laughs> Um, that is that will be in your lab too. Sorry. <clears throat> that will be in your. Just a minute, just want to confirm when, where's the next practicals. Okay, our next practicals, it's, uh, we're going to be uh, creating a share folder on the network. I believe all of us know how to do that by now. Class, we're going to be creating a share.